Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share exactly how I have my makeup stored. I have the Ikea Alex five drawer storage system, which I feel like is very popular for makeup storage, that and the nine drawer, which I also have, um, which has some beauty stuff in it too. But I just want to show you exactly how I organized it because I was researching, I thought this would be like a common topic since we all <laughs> have these drawers and I wasn't really finding any good inspiration before I did this project. Now I'm so happy with how it turned out. So I really want to show you guys like just exactly what I did in case you want to just copy it completely. Um, because before I did this, I was tempted to spring. They make like organization systems tailored to these drawers and they're beautiful and they're like clear acrylic and I was so tempted to do it, but it's like $200. <laughs> like think about how much makeup you could buy for $200. So when I initially did this, I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Plus it's not, totally customizable and I looked at my collection and I was like, okay, I have a lot of primers randomly. I don't have a lot of palettes or whatever it is. So instead I went to the dollar store and I initially got everything for this project for $12. So I'm super happy with that. The only thing, and if you know me, you know this is how I am, but the only color they had at the dollar store was blue and then my drawer liner was black. So it just wasn't, pretty <laughs> and honestly every time i opened my drawers i was really happy with the organization but i was just like a little bummed that it didn't look cuter and girlier like those clear acrylic ones would have been gorgeous so i'll insert a picture of what i was working with before with the blue and black it would have been totally fine but i just figured since i'm doing this video for you guys and obviously i care deeply about my makeup collection and i saved a lot of money not doing the 200 dollars system i was like i'll just do it one more time and get pink drawer liner and white containers and that's like not that over I don't think that's that overboard um and I got everything on Amazon and also I thought that'd be better so I'm just gonna link exactly what I have if you guys do want to just copy this system that'll be the easiest way because dollar stores are so hit or miss with what you might have in stock or not so needless to say I've now organized my drawers this way twice once in blue and black and now in pink and white and I'm just so happy with it I'm thrilled with it um, so I'm going to show you a little bit of my process and then give you a tour drawer by drawer and show you exactly what you need to do this with your own Ikea drawers if you want. So the first step when I organize my makeup is always to take my whole collection and spread it out on a towel, like an old towel that can get makeup on it. And I just find it so much easier to sort through and see exactly what I have and how much I have of everything. So like here I have my brushes. Some of this is like just kind of clutter that I'll sort through obviously. I have like all my primers here. These are powders, concealers, foundations, um, like eyelash products. And then I've got brow products, bronzers, blushes, highlighters, <laughs> liquid highlighters, palettes, single eyeshadows, more palettes. And then that's all lip stuff. Liners, liquid lipsticks, regular lipsticks, and glosses. So when I see it like this, it's a lot easier for me to figure out like what I have a lot of, what needs its own whole drawer, and I'm gonna start fitting it into all of the organizers I got. Okay, so I just am in the process of lining my drawers. I got this drawer liner on Amazon. I'm gonna be real with you. I got it because it's like the perfect pink. <laughs> I really wanted to open up my drawers and just see that beautiful little pop of pink. So I really love this shade. I hope it's like non-slip enough. It's got a texture to it. So hopefully it'll stay in place, but it's looking very pretty and I'm just trimming it down the size right now. So here are the three different sizes of storage containers. I found all of these on Amazon and I will totally link them for you. But I was just amazed that these three sizes are the perfect dimensions that like any combination, it will perfectly fill the Ikea Alex drawers. It's so satisfying. So I have these larger rectangular ones. I have these thin rectangular ones, which work great for brushes especially, and just smaller rectangular ones. Um, so these can be all combined. You'll see how I lay them out in my drawers, but there's so many possibilities for how you can arrange them. And the dimensions just work out great to fill like every inch of space in the drawers and get the most out of them. Okay, so here is my little very multi-use corner. Um, I've said in other videos, I live in a small space in Los Angeles. You know, like you have to make compromises. So this corner does a lot. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking about how 
it stores my makeup, which is in this IKEA Alex 5 drawer right here. So I actually just sit at my desk to do my makeup. I have this mirror from Ikea. I love this mirror. It's perfect. It's like the perfect height and angle. And I also have this one, which is by Simple Human, and it lights up really bright and nice. So between the two of these, I can use this like um, a makeup station. <laughs> it works out really well. So in the top drawer, I have all my brushes and tools, and I just organized it with these thin rectangular ones and one larger rectangular for my face brushes and then these are eye brushes. I'm kind of doing it like these are relatively clean and these need to be washed, like I'm moving them over. Um, I brush, I wash my brushes like once a week but in the meantime I like to know like I'm not gonna get glitter all over my face if I use one of these so. Then I also have some beauty blenders, some q-tips, little tiny brushes and then I have a headband that I like to wear to keep the makeup out of my hair. So that's my first drawer. Oh, and I have a little love note from my husband tucked in the back because <laughs> it makes me happy. Then in this drawer I've got, like look how satisfying this configuration is. I'm so happy with the, the way these all fit. You would think it was like actually made for <laughs> this purpose, like some more expensive systems. But here I've got my foundations, and I like to sometimes mix some oil into my foundation. And I also like to put sort of a primer on my lips, so I use either this Makeup Forever one or this Laneige Sleeping Mask. Here I have all of my primers in this basket. These are both the larger size. And then I have three smaller ones. This one's all my concealers, powders, and powders. So everything I had kind of fit perfectly in here for this to just be like foundation, concealer, powder and primer station. And then the next drawer, this was all of my, some eye stuff and face stuff. So I have bronzers here, I have blushes, highlighters. Back here I have liquid highlighters. And then these are all eyes. So that's my brow stuff, eyelash curlers and eyeliners and mascaras. Again, I'm just so happy with this layout. I think it looks really nice. And the drawer liner keeps these from sliding around because there is a little bit of room, but it just pretty much fits perfectly in the space. And then I like seeing the little hint of the pink drawer liner down there too. The next drawer is my palettes. I think I might like this drawer the most. I think I got this idea on Pinterest, but how smart is using an ice cube tray for your individual eyeshadows? That's just so satisfying. I have a couple glitter shadows in the back. I have false lashes here, and then these are all palettes. So I just stacked them in these little thinner rectangular ones. I had a couple little individuals that did not fit in the ice cubes, but otherwise everything else fit perfectly there. And then I put some more palettes back here, and I just thought it was perfect how they were able to stand up, but I can see what all the palettes are at one glance and not have to like dig through a stack. And then my last drawer has Another configuration with like the smaller, all three sizes actually of storage. So in this one I have lip liners, plus a couple weird lip colors <laughs> that I got from Glam Glow. This is liquid lipsticks. This is clear glosses, colored glosses. I took a bunch out and put them in my purse. That's why it looks kind of sparse. <laughs> and what I consider like more pigmented glosses. And then this is just all lipsticks. So this is my little lip drawer and it fit perfectly and I just can't believe how my whole collection is entirely contained in these five drawers now and it's so organized. Okay guys, I hope you got some ideas for organizing your own makeup. I, I know if you love organizing like I do, so satisfying. So <laughs> let me know if you got any helpful tips or hints from this video, if you have any comments, any ideas for me, I'm always happy to hear from you guys. Um, please hit subscribe, stick around. I do a lot of beauty videos, a lot of home and organization stuff too. More of that coming up. So yeah, stick around. It's so great to talk to you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.